What is up guys, it is Nick, we are back, and today we got the news that I have been waiting for. Fantasy Star Online 2's closed beta test begins February 7th. So I follow this account on Twitter, it is Fantasy Star Online 2. I'll provide a link to it in the description so you can click on that if you want to follow it on Twitter. But they tweeted out this news article, otherwise I wouldn't have found it. So yeah, it's relatively small following so far but i i'm pretty sure this is the official account um you can see based on the stuff that they tweet out i am going to go out on a limb and guess it's the official account it's just not verified yet so let's get into the important stuff that is the details so it starts february 7th um but we'll go through this and i'll, I'll read it all but the wait is finally over the closed beta test for one of japan's biggest online rpgs fancy star online 2 starts friday february 7th at 5 p.m pacific time so that's 8 p.m eastern convert it to wherever you live i mean well i guess it's only north america so it's five east or five pacific six mountain seven central eight eastern so those are and because I don't think Hawaii counts, Alaska might, but I don't really know. So at this point, I'm just going to go with those four time zones. Participants will retain their progress and have a chance to obtain special in game rewards. Sign up now through the Xbox Insider Hub. If you do not know how to do the Xbox Insider Hub, go to the store on Xbox, type in Xbox Insider Hub, should pop up as an app, download it, go inside the app, and you can register for the beta there. So the closed beta test schedule starts Friday, February 7th at 5 p.m. Pacific time, uh, and it runs through Saturday, February 8th at essentially midnight, 11.59 Pacific time. Uh, the official website opens at Friday, February 7th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. I don't really know what the official website is, but we'll find out more uh, on February 7th at 10 a.m. I will probably make a video and cover that real quick on Friday. Uh, and, and just discuss that real quick if it's anything important. If not, I probably won't do a video. Um, I'm just assuming it's there like, like, so over here we have the Black Desert official website for console. Um, and it just has news and game guides that they have, coupons, click to play on PC, play on mobile, all their socials up here, um, overview, different stuff like that. I'm assuming it'll be just something like this, but we'll find out here in the near future. Preload players will be able to install the game in advance starting Monday, February 3rd. That is awesome. So if you have anything messed up, um, I'll probably just try to download it Tuesday. But if you messed up registration for the open beta um, through the Xbox Insider Hub, you'll know because it won't show up. Uh, and then if you have slow download times, you'll have plenty of time to get this installed. Uh, download it once. You can update the existing clients for the upcoming open beta test and launch without having to re-download the game. That's really awesome of them. That means... Um, we download the beta client and it will turn into the actual full game client when the game releases without having to re-download uh, the game all over again. Um, so play first on Xbox One, explore numerous worlds uh, with friends, experience PSO2's unparalleled action combat and character customization first on Xbox One. Choose from four distinct races and nine classes, each equipped with unique weapons and skills that completely transform the way you play. Your never-ending quest starts here. Uh, take on urgent quests. So these are going to be important. I'll cover it in just a second. But join voices with up to 11 other operatives and experience unforgettable boss battles and special events called urgent quests. These challenges happen at specific times throughout the day. So make sure to check the schedule below so you don't miss out on attaining unique rewards during the closed beta. So I'm happy with these times. I know other people probably won't be. They're not super conducive to someone who works at night. Um... But, well, someone who works at night Pacific time, I guess. It's not very conducive to those people. But for me, it works out well. I'll work Friday morning, and then I'll work either Saturday morning or Saturday night. But I will be home Saturday night in time to get everything. So there are five, un or four, sorry, four unique urgent quests. Um, Cradle of Darkness runs three times at 8 to 8.30, on a Friday and then 7 to 7.30 a.m. on a Saturday and 5 to 5.30 p.m. on Saturday. Uh, and then Giant Autonoma, 
The Awakening runs twice, 10 to 10.30 on Friday, 1 to 1.30 on Saturday, and then we have two special quests to end the um, beta off. Well, the beta goes a little bit after these, but they're the final ones for the beta, and that is the Raging Obsidian Arm and Elder of the Unfathomable Abyss. They run back-to-back -back from 8.30 to 9 p.m. and then 9 to 9.30 p.m. You'll want to complete these because you'll be able to gain... Uh, special rewards so beta testers will have a chance to claim special rewards for either logging in or for participating in urgent quests make sure to check the requirements below to maximize your chances of obtaining them all so immediate rewards players will receive these rewards immediately after logging in during the closed beta so your very first login you'll get a photon halo b accessory and a beauty salon free pass which i'm going to go out a limb and assume just means you can change the look of your character once for free uh, daily rewards, you'll want to log in, I believe it's only two days, so you'll want to log in both days at least and grab EXP boost plus 50% times 3, rare drop boost plus 50% times 3, Masetta boost plus 50% times 3, uh, so you'll get probably six of each of those total. So the special rewards, players will receive the rewards when the game officially launches, release date to be announced later on, um, but you'll want to complete four urgent quests, which are these quests up here. You'll have a fairly decent amount of opportunities. I think the goal probably uh, is to try to get the two in on Friday night and then the two in to close the beta. Uh, those are my goals, but I'll probably end up trying to do them all. But as of right now, it's get these two and then get these two. I'll be on at five uh, or at yeah, five Pacific time when it launches. I'll make an initial video and then I'll just get to straight recording and then I'll edit them down as I go. Um, but I'd like to get one video out that night for it, and then maybe one of these urgent quests, and then I'll start off Saturday morning with one of these urgent quests, and then a second episode, and then we'll just carry out beta episodes as long as I have them, but I'm gonna play a lot, as much as I physically can play of this game, um, before I pass out, um, I will, <laughs> so, but for completing one urgent quest, you get a Photon Halo C accessory and a Tri Boost plus 100%, uh, two urgent quests, you get a Photon Halo A accessory and Tri Boost plus 100%. Uh, for completing three urgent quests, you get a Mag Dreamcast Evolution device and a Tri Boost plus 100%. And here's the big one you want to finish four because you will get Coated Edge Weapon Camo and Tri Boost plus 100% times 10. Uh, so you'll want to complete four if at all possible. So watch the concert live, meet Kuna, Oracle's favorite music idol, gather your friends during the closed beta test and watch her perform live in the ship's shopping plaza. Concert goers will not only have a great time, but also receive multiple buffs afterwards. It's a unique experience that will that, that you will not want to for want to miss. Okay, can I learn how to talk? So these happen February 8th. It's only February 8th, which is Saturday, 8 to 8.15 Pacific Time. Performing the songs Are Fighting and Eternal Encore. Uh, the buffs received will be Rare Drop Rate Increase, Maceta Drop Rate Increase, and Experience Points Rate Increase. So the time to join ARCs is almost here. See you in the closed beta. Uh, and then down here, I'll leave this up just so you can read it while I quickly wrap up this video. This is how you get into the closed beta if you did not know. It's all to do with the Xbox Insiders Hub. Here's a little bit more of a detailed thing um, that uh, detailed instructions um, that more than I gave. But yeah, I'm looking very forward to this. You guys know. Uh, PSO2 has been what I've been looking forward to the most recently, and so I'll be very excited to get into this when I get the chance here in a few weeks. I'm going to try to grind it out as much as I can in those two days. Like I said, I do have work on Saturday morning more than likely. There is a chance that I don't. Uh, schedule gets posted today as I'm recording this. Sometime today, my schedule will get posted for that day, and I'll either be happy or a little bit disappointed. Uh, if I work Saturday night, I become a lot more disappointed because I'll miss out on a little bit more. Uh, but I believe I'll be working Saturday morning, which will be a lot better. But I'm off by 10 p.m. Eastern time, and so I should not miss any of the big events uh, that they have going on. But yes, guys, uh, check back on the channel uh, for more PSO2. I'll bring you guys anything content-wise like this that I see before the actual beta drops. If we get any more details, I'll have a video out. Um, and then as well as I'll have a ton of PSO2 videos once the full game releases. For now, if you like, the ch if you want to stop and check out any Black Desert videos, if you're new to the channel, that's what I got going on on the channel now. Just 
playthroughs of Black Desert with new characters and stuff like that. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll stop uh, babbling on and wasting your time. Uh, drop the video like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.